always say that when I look at your color choices and then I look at the final result and I'm like, dang, that's pretty nice. <laughs> I would have never put those colors together myself, but I really like the way they come out. And what I'm looking at right now in the cup, and I don't know if you can maybe just hold that a little closer to the camera. I mean, up close. There you go. So people can see the colors you're using. They kind of remind me of peacock colors. I mean, that's kind of what that reminds me of. Now, do you think you've got enough for coverage? Because I'm thinking you're looking... I'm just all afraid okay, you've got. Shy, well, you still got a lot in your cup still, so you can kind of like add in around the corners if you want. It depends on what you're doing. I mean, it's it's your baby, but I see cells forming already, so you must have got a good squirt of dimethicone. Um, one thing I would suggest, just for better control's sake, I mean, we get. I'm just gonna kind of swoop in under here and show. We use the coconut milk. And I would suggest using an eyedropper, taking the top off. That is great for applying to your hair, and it is good stuff for your hair. I have used it. It does wonders. Dimethicone is, takes care of those frizzies, no problem. Anyway, um, so, yeah, I would suggest an eyedropper to have better control if you're a little more um, measuring-oriented, I would say. Um, we are not, but I do like a little control in some areas, and that's one. So I have adapted myself to using a eyedropper. I mean, we've had some of these that have just been like, we've put a ton of dimethicone in, and something about the the thickness, the you know viscosity or whatever. I'm, it's just no cell formation, no action going on. And then we've had others that, like, I didn't even add dimethicone, and I just used a stick from an old pour that had dimethicone, and I've got cells everywhere. <laughs> That's usually like doing, during a wing pour when we're trying to attempt a wing pour when you don't want cells. That's happened before in our short little history. I mean, it's not like we've been doing these for years. I mean, we are... Total noobs. <laughs> Total newbies at all of this. But, um, hey, might as well jump in with both feet. This is a different blend of colors for sure. Well, I like it. I mean, it looks great in the cup. And I think if it looks good in the cup, then it's going to look good on the board. As long as you don't play with it too much and get it muddy, which we're both want to do at times and that's how we've ended up with recovering pores which I need to get back to because I know that's you know you're still looking at all those rough and bumpy first videos and um, they won't be up there long because as better content comes along they're going to go bye bye but before they do I do want to conclude that with a final look I'm just um, got to get to the work part of it <laughs> <laughs> we have been kind of moving on and sometimes that happens with projects around here and it takes us a while to get back to them but I haven't done a flip pour yet so hmm oh you haven't yeah. not at all not at all not at all so I'm almost thinking I'm just huh. gonna try a flip well live it up so you know what you're doing you, yeah okay you've seen it done before yeah, I've seen it done Oh, look at the cells just squeezing out from underneath that. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this is where we need to, like, have somebody in back of the camera so we can readjust. And you can see up close what this is going to look like. Okay, bear with me. going on here so yeah when you do a flip pour or you know flip cup or whatever um, it's good to let it set for a while and just kind of let nature and gravity take its course <laughs> I just really think what's coming out from underneath there is so pretty 
awesome. But um, I still want to kind of get you lined up a little bit better here. So just, again, bear with me for a little, little camera movement. And bam. <coughs> okay. Are you ready? You know, a lot of times they put a hole in it, too. But. Yeah, I know. But, you know, to me, that's a waste of a cup. <laughs> These babies wash out, and you really... It's the same effect by just going for it. Oh, wow. Here we go. Even liking the drips. Kind of gives you that little pinwheel effect in there. Okay, we're going to zoom back out here. And see where this go. Oh, wow. Look at that. Hold it up closer. Check it out. Nice. <laughs> nice. But I guess. So, I know this is the part that always is fun to watch. It's well, it's fun to watch on TV. <laughs> this is the part we enjoy watching. I don't know about the execution. It's a little nerve wracking and. Like, he kind of holds his breath while I'm doing mine and vice versa. Um, you know, trying not to give too much advice on like, oh, don't, oh, don't, uh, or, you know, just trying to, like my mom, my mom, she was famous for like, she would drop a feather and go, <gasps> and scare the bejeepers out of everybody in the room, <laughs> you know, waiting for the anvil to fall on her heads or something, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this is the part we really enjoy. It brings out the, like I said, free-spirited hippie in me. I don't know how Cliff, I think he just enjoys not making too many decisions about anything at the moment and just watching, like watching your grass grow, just watching it happen. You're looking a little... A little shy on my paint. Well, it's looking a little thick is what I'm thinking. I think maybe you needed... More H2O, but then again, if you want to maintain your cells, thick is good. Um, uh, I was I was going to begin this little narration with how when we're watching a poor, this is usually where my husband was right here talking about you in the third person, sorry. Um, and this is usually when you freak out. <laughs> You're like, no, don't let that run off the board, or why did you use so much paint? <laughs> um, as you can see, we're quite frugal. Um, he has lots of leftover paint in his cups. And um, again, look at how well those cells are holding up. I mean... A lot of it is in the thickness. A lot of it is in the patience of the poor, <laughs> the pouring person. Um, and if you don't have, I think, one, you know, like color, like really super lighter in weight than the others, you can achieve these kinds of effects. And I've seen Cliff do it over and over again. It's just I, it's like baking a cake or making pancakes. Or everybody does it a little bit different. Um, and they all have their unique properties. His, look at those colors. Wow, just really nice. I mean... I wasn't expecting to... I said it was a weird combination of colors, but... 